friends, in our last session, we saw how to solve a linear equation with one variable. Now in this session, with the help of some examples, we will understand how to solve these linear equations more efficiently. Consider this situation. Raghu gets a rectangular shaped parcel from the delivery man. He wants to measure the parcel to guess the contents of the parcel. He has a 5 cm long scale that he uses to measure the parcel. He finds that the width of the parcel is exactly 5 cm, but the length is somewhat longer than 5 cm. His ruler falls short while measuring the length of the parcel. He also notices that in small letters, the area of the rectangular shaped parcel has been measured to be 45 square centimeters. Can you help Raghu find the length of the parcel? Let's help him. We know that the breadth of the parcel is 5 centimeters and the length of the parcel is longer than 5 centimeters. So, we can write the parcel's length as 5 plus b centimeters. We also know that the area of the parcel is equal to 45 centimeters square. We know that the area of a rectangle is length times its breadth. So, we can form an equation with its area like this. Here, we will have to solve this equation to get the value of the variable b. So let's go ahead with our equation. This is how we can expand our equation. Now, we will have to subtract 25 from both the sides so that we can eliminate 25 from the left-hand side of the equation. On doing so, we get this new equation. But look at these steps carefully. Let's say from our equation, instead of subtracting 25 from both sides, can we directly transpose 25 from the left to the right hand side? Yes, we can do that. When we do that, we see that this equation is the same as the equation we got by subtracting 25 from both sides. But an important thing to notice is that when we transpose 25, we change its sign. That means, from plus 25, it becomes minus 25 as we transfer it. Now, we will divide both sides of the equation by 5 to get the value of b. On doing so, we see that the value of b turns out to be 4. Now, we know the length of the parcel is equal to 5 plus b. So that means, the length of the parcel is 5 plus 4, which is 9 centimeters. Now let's solve one more simple problem. Can you tell me what will our first step be? Yes, we will transpose the number minus 5 to the right hand side. But be careful, when we transpose minus 5 to the other side, it will become plus 5. After this step, we will get the value of x as 15. As you can see, we got our solution in just one step by transposing minus 5 to the other side. So this efficient way will help us in further sessions to solve the equations swiftly. To conclude, in this session, we saw that we can solve linear equations in one variable very easily and efficiently by transposing numbers to the other side. But always remember that while we transfer a number, we change its sign. If a number is a positive number on one side, after transferring it becomes negative. And if a number is negative on one side, it becomes positive on moving to the other side. This means addition becomes subtraction and subtraction becomes addition.
In the next video, we will look at some misconceptions that arise while solving linear equations in one variable.